and I'm here with Aaron. And today we are watching Perry Lowe and Don K. That's our 5D4, uh, as he's famous for. Mm -hmm. um, and over on Don's side, <laughs> we've got four Black Sun Assassins. With nice and shot. simple. Yeah. Absolutely. Ooh, Star Vipers. I love it. Um, I'm a huge Star Viper fan, so I'm very excited to see uh, how he manages to fly these guys. Yeah, and on the right-hand side, we have Barry flying uh, Separatist. Yeah, a little mini swarm of these um, uh, drones. Uh, I've actually uh, never actually had a chance to watch these guys in action. So it'll well, be, you're about to see. It'll, it'll be fun to fun to see. So to start with, he's got three trade-fed drones, uh, each with the e-shell charges and grappling struts. Uh, and then he's got DFS 311. Uh, with energy shell charges as well and grappling struts. Now, DFS 311 can, at the beginning of a combat phase, send a calculate token to a friend. And I believe the range on that is 1 to 3. Um, then we have two of the new hyena bombers. We've got DBS 32C. DBS 32C at the top of combat can spend a calculate token in order to grant an action. Uh, coordinate action to a pal. Oh, okay, that's fun. Yeah, DBS 32C is also carrying Kraken, so that will allow Perry to bank three calculate tokens in his list to three ships. That is one token uh, each to three ships. And finally, we have the big badass in this list uh, coming in with the highest initiative uh, <laughs> number, uh, DBS 404. Now, DBS 404, his pilot ability reads that he, I believe it is, that he rolls an extra die um, when he's attacking at range 0 or 1, and he can attack someone at range 0. Yeah, he can attack range 0 and rolls that extra die at range uh, 0 to 1. In fact, he must roll an extra die. And can you? And will that work with his advanced proton torpedoes? Yep, because it's, uh, it's not primary attacks, it's any attack whatsoever. Excellent. Well, yep. that's nasty as all heck. And uh, when he does suffer, or when he um, does make that attack, if it hits, um, he suffers one critical damage. Yeah, so he burns down quickly. Yeah. I believe the um, the little uh, um, a flavor text on his card says survival protocol not found, uh, which <laughs> is uh, pretty fun. Could you look up DBS 32C as well? Please? Yeah, okay. So, so as well, DBS 404 has Discord missiles. So he can deploy those with a three bank template. Yeah. Uh, so, yep, start of the engagement phase. He can spend one calculate token to perform a coordinate action. Okay. Mm -hmm. So grappling struts. Uh, when you execute a maneuver, if you overlap an asteroid or debris and there are one or fewer friendly ships at range zero, oh, could that come back? <laughs> then uh, you may flip the card to the other side. When it is flipped to the other side, uh, you ignore asteroids. You ignore uh, all obstacles. So, um, when they do a maneuver, if the maneuver crosses a rock, and there are six rocks out there, um, <clears throat> then they uh, can switch to that mode. Once they're in that mode, um, they can um, either rotate left or right mm -hmm. by programming a turn maneuver. doesn't matter which turn. Yep. They rotate without moving. Um, in addition, they can do a two straight, um, normally. It's the only maneuver they can do normally to get off the rock. Yeah, if they dial in anything else, they just don't move, I guess, right? Because they know, they skip their maneuver Correct. otherwise? Yeah. Um, and so that just turns them into these little mobile turret platforms, I guess, uh, which can be really frustrating to fly against. Really fun to fly. Mm -hmm. But Don knows this is coming, and his four Vipers move after the majority of Perry's list. Mm-hmm. Uh, DBS 32C is um, I3. So, depending upon who takes first player, um, we will. The DBS 32C may move later. Yeah. It looks like they've got their ships ready to go. Uh, and I'm really actually excited to see him w w just watch Don um, uh, use all the sneaky uh, barrel rolls and so on that those Star Vipers have to um, avoid those drone shots. 
Well, we can see him in a non-standard formation over mm -hmm. there, which he's been doing for years. So that mm -hmm. will allow him to um, get some kooky angles and hopefully arc dodge some of these guys, which is going to be essential because there's a lot of firepower on Perry's side. Now, both of these players are 4-0. I think they're the only two people here in a 40-person tournament uh, who are 4-0. Yeah, so obviously the, uh, the struts are activated. He chooses not to barrel roll and just hangs out on that side. Yep. Now he can put a second guy on that rock. You can fit up to two on one rock. Is that correct? correct? Yeah. Well, and use the ability. I think you could put three and not use the ability. Right. Yes. They're from that position. They'll be able to cover uh, a large chunk of the center of the map, right? Forcing um, Don to either take the top or the bottom here to avoid them. Yeah. Number three. Yeah. Ah, hey, we oh, got our we numbers. Go. There right. we go. Uh, now we can see who's what. Um, so, number three is DFS 11, 311, and that, I believe, is the one furthest towards the top of the board. Yeah, he's not going to um, have that fellow stay on the rock. Well, it looks right now like Perry's plan is to spread those guys out uh, on the rocks. Mm-hmm. Now, how do the... Let's find out how the... Um, can we bring up the energy shell charges? just want to see the exact nature of those guys. Um, <clears throat> these are the ones they can easily re uh, reload, correct? Yeah. They can reload as an action. Mm -hmm. So they have one charge and they can reload them as an action. Um, while attacking with them, uh, they range two to three. Yep. They can convert one eyeball to a crit by spending a calculate token. Now, all the uh, droids, of course, uh, are linked and they can spend any friend at range one's calculate token uh, to attack, to modify attack dice or defend. The energy shell charges require that you have a calculate token in order to shoot them. Uh, and that ship will need its own token. It can't borrow one from a friend. Right, it can only but, spend them to do the conversion, the dice modification. Yeah. yeah. But it can be given one uh, by DFS 311. Yep. Yeah. Or... Um, DFS 32C could coordinate it in action at the beginning of engagement. They feel a lot like the old, um, or well, the current uh, aggressors, right? Um, in terms of the way that they're all sharing abilities and, and, and keeping each other um, uh, um, loaded up with tokens and so on. Yeah, but they're a hell of a lot more fragile. Yeah, yeah, oh yes. I mean, they're just much smaller versions. So Don is second player. And we have a very non-committal move with the Super Ace DBS 404. Now, how would you handle this list? Um, if you were Don, you who would who would be your target priority? I and, just... And uh, what would be your approach? Stay out of arcs. Yeah, stay out of arcs. Kill, ver kill vultures. Fair. Um, I feel and like Don is well-equipped to do it here, and... Yeah, I mean, uh, if anything's going to be dodging those arcs, it's these, um, it's the Star Vipers. And I, I feel like I'd want to take 404 off the board before he gets a chance to shoot those proton torpedoes. Mm -hmm. I mean, Perry's had an incredible day. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he's defeated Palp Aces, not Palp Aces, just uh, Imperial Aces. Um, he's defeated Arc 170s, beef lists. He's trashed them all. So I'm really excited to see what makes this list so good. <laughs> so now I think one of the things that Perry's going to want to do is rotate uh, number six. Yeah, number six is turning down. Four is probably going to stay right where he is. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, the struts stipulates that while in the open position, you just remove stress after a maneuver. So he's able to do what he just did. And this fellow's going to rotate. Yep. There it is. There he is. Take calculate. Oh, we forgot to note that calculates were retained by Kraken last round. Now who's carrying Kraken? It's the thirty-two C, the one who's yep. um, handing out coordinates as well. Yep. Right. Yeah, he's the support. It is the support ship. I might actually consider going after him first, uh, or it, or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> actually, more expensive than uh, uh, than four hundred four. Yep. Kraken Super what? Ace 404. Kraken's how many points? Kraken is 10. Uh, right, yeah. 
Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, he's 53 points, um, 32C, including Kraken. Um, taking out the support ship can often be the key to dismantling a list, right? Um, if you remove the coordinates and the uh, free calculate sort of calculate retention, uh, it can really weaken everything else. I think Perry would have liked the barrel roll there for number five. We just bumped into number six. And we have DFS 311 shooting up the board. <clears throat> now, um, if I were Don, I'd probably be taking one and two over here up the uh, left side of the map. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. And yeah, here's, here's Don doing what I, I figured. He's going to um, keep one and two back and leave them up the left side of the map. Um, I'm wondering if three and four are going to try and swing around and maybe charge those guys on the rock. Well, given the speed that one and two have moved, he's not going to do anything fast with three and four. Mm -hmm. In fact... Not this turn, but I'm just wondering if they're going to creep creep along the bottom here. Mm -hmm. So just some one forward, just slowly moving ahead with these Black Sun Assassins. Yeah, it's just kind of just creeping, creeping along. It's a shame there's no um, afterburners on these guys. Uh, Star Vipers with afterburners can do some crazy fast maneuvers. Get halfway across the map in a single, single move. Um, and that's the sort of thing you need against uh, these fellows with the um, with the energy shell charges sitting on the rock there. Well, one thing that Dawn's list does have is it has three ships with three green dice. Mm -hmm. Four ships. Yeah, in fact. I also see that 404 has Discord missiles, and those guys are interesting. They're probably going to be not much use against... Um, Star Vipers, who can just barrel roll away from the, uh, the what do we call them, buzz droids, I guess. Yeah, but it forces them to spend actions. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've got uh, some of the best players in Ontario upstairs. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have folks coming in from, uh, I think, Peterborough, Oshawa, um, head up in Kitchener and so on, that direction, I think, as well. Mm -hmm. So we have... Uh, trade Fed 4 and 6 going nowhere. Yep. And then we have Trade Fed 5 setting up to land on that rock when he gets around to it. He did and what? He the 3 straight there or yep. the 4? 3. Yeah, he could have done the 4 and already been on it. Yeah. But he yeah. might be considering, yeah. I'm wondering if he misjudged or is he just trying to position for yep. a different spot? He wants to have choices next round. He yeah. doesn't want that guy lonely out there on the rock if yeah. Don decides to rush him. So now he can actually have his choice of either the rock in the lower right or the one just to his just to his left there. DFS three eleven, who might be one of the more important pieces here, the ability to pass someone a calculate at the top of engagement is mm. pretty good, mm. especially when their energy shell charges in the mix. Now with grappling struts, when they're on the rock, do, they do still get their actions, right? They do. Yeah, so they could still calculate every turn. He could have barrel rolled there if he wanted yeah. to and been directly in the middle of that rock. I'm surprised he didn't, actually. Or at least toward the left side. Uh, now 32C is just staying night right in the back there. He's not going to expose him for a while, I feel like. <clears throat> All right, so we have a long, slender... Three bank mm -hmm. from Star Viper number one or two. Not sure which one it was. And Donnie is thinking about what he's gonna do. I think um, Don's hoping that uh, these two numbers one and two will make their way to um, get four hundred four off the board. I think this is pretty smart of Don here, splitting up his splitting up his crew. He's forcing. Um, uh, forcing Perry to split up as well. Um, I mean, he has to do this. He doesn't want. To, he doesn't want a straight joust. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and you can't um, can't face the uh, 
the landing strut fellows um, in two directions at once. So um, one of these two groups is going to have a clear shot on them eventually. Don is making wiggly fingers. <laughs> I think that's just expressing his enthusiasm about the game. Yeah, I think he's uh, talking about the actual fact of how the Star Vipers work in canon. So now that we're adjusting the volume here for those of us who um, are uh, just hearing us for the first time, uh, my name's Mike. This is Aaron, and we hey, are uh, and we are here at Face to Face Games in Toronto with our hyperspace trial and this is the top table round five of the swiss rounds uh final round of the swiss rounds correct yes yeah after this will be a top cut to the top eight I believe. yeah believe it or not folks this is the top table <laughs> four vipers and six separatist ships two bombers and that's actually something that um, drones Something that has amazed me, uh, just being upstairs, um, watching the playing and watching the games, was um, seeing the massive variety in lists. There's uh, a lot. Yeah, I, I I don't think I saw the same thing on any particular table. I didn't look at everything, but um, I definitely saw a wide variety going on here. A few um, rebel lists. I mean, compared to what was before. Yeah, I was flying. I was Maybe flying rebels. Four. Yeah, straight two hundred points, Delta Angel Fire. A uh, few rebel lists. Mm -hmm. Um, quite a lot of resistance, um, uh, which was strange. Huh. People were like, oh, the transport's bad. Nobody play it. And there's a bunch of people playing it upstairs. Yeah, actually, I feel it sounds like it's actually pretty good. Um, there's some interesting combos there, um, some potentially controversial combos there. Um, if anybody's moved into the place of the Rebels, well, it's probably split evenly between um, Republic mm -hmm. with all their amazing stuff. It's a no-brainer. And... Yeah. Uh, in bases, there's a fair amount of Vader, Suntir, Vermile, or just a generic Reaper. <clears throat> All right. So what but I've we... definitely seen every frac uh, every faction um, covered here. There doesn't seem to be anything that's missing. This might think. be the only scum list. Uh, really? Yep. Hmm. We'll leave it to Don to uh, make scum work for him. All right. So he's trying to pass a calculate with... Yep, over uh, to Doofus, DFS 311, but he's not in range. So that's going to be a bad day for Trade Fed 5. <clears throat> well, he's going to get a chance to shoot off uh, one of his um, charges, if he doesn't die first, at least. Don is checking to see if he has the bullseye, and he does. That's a difficult thing to pull off, bullseye at range 3. Yeah. I can't remember. I think he might have just flown straight. <laughs> Especially with like the curvy barrel rolls and stuff. If you can make it work, you can make it work. Uh, we are shooting from number three is shooting um, drone number five. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why they paused momentarily. Oh, it did? Hmm. Let's see what happens. All right. And it's all paint, so he spends it for yep. three. He's trying to kill it with one shot. And he's got a very good chance, unless Perry rolls... Uh, I think it's range three, so unless he rolls at least two paint, he's dead. Because of crack shot. He does not. Exactly. Spence calculate. And then Don is going to explain to him that he has crack shot. Yeah. <clears throat> so there's the crack shot that pushes that last damage through and takes number five off the board before he even gets a shot. Yes. And that's it for shooting for that round. Well, that was bad news for Perry. Mm -hmm. Being out of range of DFS 311 was really unfortunate. Um, Not that it would have helped him. No, it wouldn't have helped him in this particular situation. He rolled um, two blanks and a focus. Still, had he rolled two focuses and had two calculates, that would have saved his life. Calculates are removed, leaving a remainder with Kraken. Looks like Perry gets to leave himself one more. Uh yeah, he, he only kept two on the board? That we can see. That we can see. Uh, maybe one's missing. What would you do here? Um, I think these number, Star Vipers 1 and 2 are going to continue their little sideways dance um, that they've been doing. They've been kind of swinging back and forth, like banking barrel roll, bank barrel roll, and so on, uh, to slide their way across the left side of the map here. And I think Don's going to continue with that, probably. Um, 
and he's either going to force um, three and four to joust him. I mean, uh, Dawn isn't forcing anybody to joust him. No, well, it's either that or they head down towards um, uh, Star Vipers three and four, and in which case, um, in so, which case, he's just got them from the side. He's got them flanked. Yeah, I think Dawn might do a three straight. Mm, I don't know. With numbers one and two? So keep in mind that the rock cover that it mm. appears that numbers three, uh, Vipers three and four have mm -hmm. from Vultures four and six yep. doesn't matter in the least because he because four and six ignore it. They so ignore all rocks? You, yep. All rocks? Yep. Really? Pretty sure. Huh. I thought it was just the rock you were sitting on. No, I think it's uh, all of them. You ignore obstacles. I think Ooh. it's the deal. Let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah, let's 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 double check the, the wording on grappling struts here. Uh, they're exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. Well, almost exactly. No, you same. ignore obstacles at range zero. Just, okay. Just the go. one you're on. Yeah. Um so then he can use that rock for cover, which yep. is probably a good idea. Yep, absolutely. Alternately he could do a three straight with number <clears> three, um, and then plan to boost. Well, three straight should actually put him right beside the rock, I think. Yeah, but uh, if he gets around it, then he gets out of the arc of yeah. uh, Trade Fed 4. But something is happening. Trade Fed 4 is actually moving. I think he is, he is moving forward. Uh, uh, okay, so he's going to park uh, DBS32C on it. And he calculates. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just discussing the um, the particulars of how landing struts works. Which is probably a lot simpler than the wording on the card makes it out to be. I don't know. It's pretty uh, complicated. I mean, it is. It is a little, a little tricky, um, and it seems like a huge block of text. But I think once you get used to it, it's um, not super complicated. Uh, you land on a rock. You can rotate. You do a two straight to get off. Um, now, unfortunately, thirty-two C has bumped. So, oh no, he's still carrying. Carrying. Oh, I guess he didn't bump. Yeah, I guess he Got just made a it calculate, on and one that he was carrying from Kraken. Now, I believe he spends, it spends a, a calculate. Yeah, you'd like a five straight, Don. Uh, it spends a calculate in order to um, power the uh, coordinate. Oh, well, there's Don doing those four straights. So I was wrong. Um, I think he's just hoping to catch um, uh, DFS 11 out in the open. A mm -hmm. little bit of a boost to get range. Mm -hmm. His target might... Yeah, DFS 311 is a good chip to kill. He doesn't have Bullseye there. I mean, we'll see where Super Bomb 404 goes for. Mm -hmm. Although 404 is not in a great spot to get um, close enough for the Proton Torpedoes, at least not this round. No, but that's fine. Yeah, but he is uh, looking like he's going to enter into the Star Vipers arcs. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> Don has the option of taking him out first if he wants. There we go. Two straight. Puts him right behind the rock. And the barrel roll. Hoping to kill box. Uh, that looks like it gives him bullseye on four. Yep. Hoping to kill box four or, um, <coughs> four or four if he, if he comes rushing in there. Now, I think I would boost here. And I th don't think number four is going to get a shot. I think he's going to die before he even gets a chance to um, take a shot. Likely. It looks like there might even be bullseye on both Star Viper number three and number four. Uh, three's used as crack shot, though. Well, and this time, number four does have a lot of friends nearby. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of calculates that can be shared. Yes. And he has to roll mm -hmm. appropriately. Mm -hmm. The parry deciding on his two top of engagement activities. DFS 311 will pass calculate to somebody. Seems like the thing to do is to send that to number four. And then uh, DBS 32C can give someone an action. Give them a walk for their energy shells. There we go. 32C. I was doing something I don't quite understand there. He passed it to 32C. Yep. Who then coordinated to 
that guy. Give six a target lock on, my guess, Star Viper number three. Yes. There it is. So he didn't end up giving a calculate token to. Well, he gave it to 32C, who could. Yeah, he can can fuel it. That's true. It can fuel it. All right, so 404 is taking a shot at Star Viper number three. Just Mm. pot shot, range three. Primaries. Ooh. Doesn't bother spending anything. Oh, he does. Yep. Spends a calculate. Now, the chances of getting anything through are very slim, but, you know, might as well. Well, if he's very lucky, he can do a damage because Don will most likely avoid spending the token. That looks like the decision that Don has to make. Does he want to spend the focus? Oh, no, it looks like it was <laughs> an evade. Nope. Yeah. What happened? Uh, it was an evade. Okay. Yep. Yeah. One of those dice uh, were in evade. So uh, Don is unscathed. Number three is being shot by. Uh, number four. The one thing is the numbers they use as tables, Mike. Yeah. Correspond to our. Will? Well, yeah, no, I'm using our numbers on, oh. on, on, on the board here. So we've got. Two damage, and once again, Viper 3 can decide whether or not it wants to spend the token or take a, a damage. Uh, Don said he's going to take the shield, I believe. Yep. yep. That's the right call. Yep. You want those focuses for your shots. Well, one shield to very likely wipe somebody out. Yep. Number three I is going to shoot. may kill number four. Mm-hmm. Trade fed four. I mean, that's that's your goal, right? Take, take him out before he even gets a shot. And Ooh, three likely. natural hits. So he spends. He must spend a calculate. Yes. Yeah, I think spending the calculate when four oh four it is shot to modify only one eyeball was a mistake. Yeah, probably a waste of a calculate token. Uh, number four's got the same shot, and I think number four's got crack shot. All oh, right, that wasn't there last time. So that was one. only one damage went through on yep. number four. Mm-hmm. So trade fed four. And it's all paint again. Yep, three hits. And this is probably uh, another trade fed dead. So one more damage, unless yep. crack shot is being used. Which it is. Okay. Bye-bye. And that's enough to take yep. that trade Joan out. <clears throat> They're waiting till the end of the phase to remove the ship. Into the initiative count, rather. Uh, there's some discussion on whether or not the trade drone is, is removed from the board now or until all of initiative three is done. I think it matters because of that calculate token. It does. And it doesn't around. happen until um, the <clears throat> end, end of the initiative. Initiative yeah. three count. So he does stick around, right? Yeah. So he can hand out his uh, focus if he needs. He's going to shoot Doofus 311. Not all paint this time. Hit crit. One crit goes into 311. 311 has a damaged engine. That's not so bad. They're trying to decide if that's obstructed. Just getting confirmation from our marshal who is saying that yes, uh, the dead drone gets to hang out until the end of the initiative, the end of initiative three. Uh, matters because of that um, calculate token, which can be shared via network calculations. So just two, so long as he gets oh, two evades. Yep, there you go. Three eleven hanging around that rock. Uh, yeah, that was a big deal. Kept him, kept him safe. So Perry is going to start with trade fed one. Yep, that's six. He's going to take an energy shell charge into number three, I think. Yep. Um, so do you shoot the target at range three with a focus or the target at range three behind a rock without a focus? So the range three doesn't matter because they're... Oh, yeah, true. There you go. Ooh, two hits and a crit. And uh, Viper three is already down a shield, so that makes it a little bit more Oh, yes, absolutely. Yep, there you go. Uh, he rolls fine. Focus for three and saved. And then we have... Our 311 boy, has... 311. No, that's token dude. That doesn't matter for him. 
because that is the obstacle at range zero of him. Is he on the rock? Yes, he is. Oh. Yes. Because he didn't move, right? The only way he could not yep. move yep. was by being on the rock. Yep. Yep. He's on the rock. Perry is <clears throat> thinking about his life. Roll the dice, Perry. Roll them with your hand. How about that? And <laughs> it's two. Let's see. Star Viper evades his handily. Ooh. Nope. Takes two. Yeah. Nasty. Well, we've seen some pretty hot dice for Don here. Mm-hmm. Which is what he needed in order to do well in the joust. And we've got cracking al Kraken allowing the retention of those remaining two calculate tokens. There yep. might also be one on 32C. It's a very useful ability. But Perry's already down two ships and... Um, 50 points. Don has... Uh, just three damage spread across two of his Star Vipers. Oh, interesting. Don has a four-point bid. Hmm. Bet he does. Which doesn't matter in this matchup. Yeah, not so much. But uh, hey, if you're against some other threes, maybe it will. <clears throat> what else would you put on the Star Vipers if you didn't care about the bid? You could put Predator on. Predator? Yeah. Two of them. <clears throat> it's two points. I kind of prefer Crack Shot, but... Uh... It's Predator 2 or... Predators 2. So you could put it on all of them if you wanted. Mm. I mean, we've seen here uh, Crackshot do more. Yeah, absolutely, right? Roll hot. And <clears throat> Crackshot does more for you than yeah, Predator will. Yeah. Uh, Predator does nothing for you if you've already got three hits, but Crack does. Still, Predator is potentially every round. It's a tough choice. So, looking at this, really the only question is... Um, whether or not, mm -hmm. uh, well, there are two questions. Does DBS 404 launch the Discord missiles this round? So that uses a three, um, a three speed template, right? The three yes. banks or the three forwards. Mm -hmm. um, so that puts it right in the way of Star Vipers three and four, maybe Star Viper one. Um, those guys might have to deal with a um, buzz droid in their way. Uh, now, if Don's planning on barrel rolling anyways, that's basically irrelevant for him. Well, he's got to do a one bank left with Viper 4. Yep. One and bank left, and then maybe a barrel roll to yes. the right. Yeah, or to the left. How he's feeling. Yeah. I think every Viper just doesn't want straight. I mean, he lets him have it. <laughs> I mean, he's so far ahead in... Uh, in the joust here. Why is he putting that dial face up? I mean, I guess it's obvious what he's going to do. But, yeah. Uh, it's Don showing off. Yeah. <laughs> what you doing, Don? It's like um, Babe Ruth pointing out where he's going to where he's going to hit the ball. At start of engagement, you may spend one token. Yes. Uh, and one charge to throw them out using a one, two, or, or sorry, a three bank or straight yes so in all likelihood he's just going to do a one bank or a one straight with 404 mm -hmm. and then 404 will probably die hopefully not before doing some spectacular damage <laughs> with his advanced pro tour but we'll see he actually needs in this situation he kind of needed two calculates on uh, on uh on uh, 404. Mm -hmm. One to watch the Discord missiles, the other one to use to modify his dice with his advanced Pro Tour. <clears throat> so those struts have turned to the left. And I'm wondering now if Don's going to try and uh, one bank and barrel roll with four to get out of that. He also did not rotate 311. Uh, so you can't avoid them both. So that's a two bank coming from Star Viper number two. Yeah, I suppose he could happily block 404 as well. Yeah, it's either hoping for a block or just to catch him out in some uh, bad position. Oh, here block comes the is. boost. That's a block position. So one, three, and four are probably just going to set themselves up to um, take advantage of that. And two's in a nice position to shoot number six. He's got um, 
He's got the range one, maybe? That might be range two. But he's also got a crack shot there, number two. Number one is gunning for 311. Mm -hmm. Probably also getting out of the way of a uh, Discord missile. Mm -hmm. What's the uh, di uh, dial like on these bombers? Uh, it's pretty close to the um, the drones, mm -hmm. to the vultures. Yep. Uh, instead of having three banks, which are red, it instead has no three bank. No three banks. And there might be another minor difference as well. But it's more or less the same. Their linked action is not uh, barrel roll or boost into... Um, ooh, that wasn't a bump. So, Not a bump. He's going to barrel roll into probably into a focus. Yes. Yeah. Well, this has been a rough game so far for Perry. Yeah, and I think it's going to continue to be rough this round. There's the one bank. Probably just barrel roll and focus to stay away from any yeah. Discord missiles. Now do you barrel roll to the right? That's where I'd go. Get a shot on number six, set myself up I for think another thing. better. <laughs> well, yeah, here you get your shots at number three and um, at uh, 311, that is. Do we know if four spent his crack shot? Yep. Okay, so four no longer has crack shot. Yeah, one and two still have crack shot. So Perry did do the one straight, and he is caught out. That is almost certainly a bump. Super Ace is caught out. Now he can be coordinated uh, a token, and DFS 311 mm -hmm. can pass him a calculate. Now, do these things have boosts? Uh, the bombers, I don't believe they do. Yeah. Um, so he doesn't have much in the way of repositioning options. He's got a shot at number four, but it's not close enough for the advanced proton torps, which are only range and one. And look at this, this nice little thing here. Number three mm -hmm. has blocked a barrel roll to the right, which he could have he could have taken the barrel roll oh, yeah. to coordinate. Yeah. I think Don's just realizing that the Perry's list just doesn't have the firepower anymore to actually do much damage against his joust, right? Well, four, four on four here. 404 has taken a calculate from <clears throat> three, one, 311. Mm -hmm. So 404 can do its discord missiles if it wants. True. On to... Right uh, on to uh, number four. four. Yep, yep. Now, when do they do their damage, those buzz droids? Uh, their initiative, which is zero. Oh, okay. So the, if if you get hit during the engagement phase, you will probably take one damage for sure. What's Perry doing? He's trying the barrel roll I was talking about. Hmm. Is it going to work? I, I don't know about that. I'm going to have to pull out number two here, get him out of the way. It looks like that's a that's a fit. Wow. Excellent okay. barrel roll. Excellent barrel roll. Yeah. Don moved up to block it, but it was possible anyway. So he links to the lock, right? Right? I think so. One of yep. the terrible little yep. uh, second edition locks is there. <clears throat> All right. So that's going to be a six die advanced proton attack from um, 404. Yes. Yep. Oh, it looks like he's using the Discord missiles. <clears throat> and I'm actually just remembering 404 can attack at range zero, correct? Yes. So he could have he could have shot number two as well. Yes, he could have. Yeah. Now, I remember when he, he does attack at range 0 or 1. Okay, so we've mm. got some... Discord missiles. Yep. On the Viper, mm -hmm. which will eat damage from it this round and next round, and that's number 4. Number 4 is at full shield, so things could be worse on that count. All right, so here we go. The big glorious shot from 404. <laughs> He's counting out dice. He's got six dice. Yeah, that's a five He's die. He's only got a lock to spend, him. so we'll see how his luck is. And it's not very good. That is a lot of eyeballs. Nope, that's, that's, that's bad. <laughs> Don is, Don is um, very excited about that. But, you know, target lock and turn it around. Nah. That is... So okay. turns into... Three crits, one of those should become a crit, Barry. One of those should become a crit. No, he's going to forget. Yep, so three hits and a crit is what he's laid out. And so hit crit gets through. Yep. 
Yeah, it looks like Perry has forgot about that changing a... Now, of course, 404 has to take a crit. Uh, did we see what the, the crit was? They didn't show us, huh? We did not. Okay. Uh, 404 should also be taking Console damage fire. here. Yeah. In fact, must take Yes, take he damage. must. There you Let's go. Let's see if Perry remembers. Well, oh, yeah, Don remembered. Wounded pilot. So that's pretty funny. It's not the worst crit in the world, but... Wounded pilot it's also does... so every time he does every time four oh four does an action, it must roll. Oh yes, of course. And on a hit or a crit, it takes stress. Yep. So now we have the coordinate bot, thirty two C. Trying to line up a shot. Doesn't look like it has Viper three. And there's a lot of numbers in this game. Mm hmm So many numbers. We just got a whole bunch of anonymous uh, assassins. Yes. No one has a name. No one has a name in this game at all. Unless the numbers count as names. Well, I guess they count. And Ooh, that's so, not happening. Uh, um, 32C, I think, just took a shot against our Viper number two. Rolled yep. a focus. Yep. So that's nothing worth spending your your uh, mods on. All right. Here come the Star Vipers. So it looks like there's only two arcs on... 404. 404 <laughs> might just live to see another round. Now, the proton uh, the proton torpedoes have two charges? One. Or one? One. One. So they should be, uh, they've been used up. All of 404's uh, tricks are done. Yep. So we've got, what's happening? Oh, it looks like uh, Viper 1 does have a shot on 404. I think Perry should be alright with that. 404 is kind of dead meat and not good for much at this point. Yeah, I would go after 32C here. Yeah. Or you mean 311? Because uh, he's shooting with one. Oh, yeah, 311 is what I meant. Yep. Oh, no. he. Who did he shoot? Oh, no. He spent... He, shoot, he shot 404. He, he did. And then Perry spent a calculate from 311, which I wouldn't have done. I just let 404 go. Because he would have had energy shell charges on Viper 1, mm. who was hurt. Or no, did he spend the energy shell charges last round? Man, so hard to keep track of. <laughs> I don't know. So we have two hits for somebody. This, is, I think, is a shot from number two onto six. Looks likely. He's trying to decide if he wants to spend those charges. The calculates? Or calculates, that is. Six is unharmed, right? So yep. just spend one. No, he's going to take nope. them both. He, he took the two damage. Oh, that's daring. Number th Viper 3 has not shot yet. Yeah. And neither is number 4, both of which have sh uh, shots on number 6. I don't think number 4 does. Oh, uh, yeah, Bob. it does. There it is. Yeah, bye-bye number 6. Yep. Odd to see him not use the calculates. I guess he was hoping that luck would win out, but um, there's a good chance he's going to die here. Is our clock correct? It says 15 minutes remain. Okay. Uh, spends a calculate, keeps himself alive. Uh, and I think number three is going to make the same shot to try and finish him off. Don is considering his options, which mm -hmm. are the wounded mm -hmm. ones, which have which munitions remaining. Oh, so someone's got a console fire here. Yes. Yep. Number three does not take any damage. Terry is accusing <laughs> this dice of wrongness. It's just a, a sharpie die. I guess Don uses that one for um, the bad things. <laughs> Perry is certainly skeptical about it. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like he's shooting 404. It's just yep. a range one shot. All the paint. Focusing for four hits, and he's got crack shot. Yes, so 404 is dead. Yeah, I don't think there's anything he can do here. Nope. Yep. One of eight doesn't even need to use his crack shot. 404 is off the board. So now we have a primary shot from 311, and we have a potential energy shell shot from uh, yeah from drone number six. Yep, on to number three. So <laughs> Barry's trying to get what points he can at this point. Yeah, it's not looking good. Um, he might be able to cause some damage to um, Star Viper number three here, who has only two health left and a console fire and no. Um, tokens. 
Oh, I guess he didn't have <clears throat> issues. Oh, energy cells were spent. Perfect. So one damage. One damage goes in on number three, I think it was. Yep. Yep. That's insufficient. Yep. And then we'll have what looks like a range one shot Ooh, from Does 311. he have that arc? Yeah, it looks yeah, like. He's totally got it. Yeah. And the again, rock. he's ignoring okay. the rock. Because he is sitting on it, just barely. It looks mm -hmm. like he's off of it, but no, he's just been hanging out there. All right. And he gets hit crit, which hit might crit. do it. Might do it. Might knock out Viper 3. We'll mm -hmm. see. And what do we get? Yes. One Viper evade. That's a crit. Toast. Looks like he picked up a disabled power regulator and then exploded. Disabled. So this is still Dawn's game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, entirely. Absolutely. The Star Vipers are sitting pretty and will probably run circles around 32C. Uh, I think the drones um, the drones are going to die. Oh, we got a damage, of course, on number four from from the uh, from the buzz droids. Mm, yes, correct. And because they're in front of uh, number four, number four cannot shake them. Well, I mean, he'll be able round. to um, he'll be able to move, put them behind him, and then shake and them the then go roll this round. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. He, he can he can get rid of them this round. So they always manage to do one damage. Unless you find some way to coordinate during the active, uh, engagement phase or uh, bill roll or whatever during the engagement phase. Both Vipers, oh, all three Vipers are stressed and must do straights. Well, they've oh, got the one do. banks. Yeah, yeah. No, they've got do. the one banks. Yeah. Um, Short blue maneuvers. I mean, unless they... Wanna... Thinking number two is going to do a one straight. That's my guess. And, and either barrel roll out of her whichever, whichever arc yep. still pointed at him. Yep, yeah, that's my guess. And um, you could also bank, but then he's guaranteeing himself no shot. Well, here Perry really has to take one of those two ships and move it up to block whatever move number two, Viper two does. Well, those ships though are um, limited to two straights. Two straights only You're two right. straights, which uh, might actually six put them might be able. Well, uh, they can do two straight and then barrel roll, of course. Yeah, true, true, true. But if he's got a one straight, I think he's actually pretty safe with a one straight. Um, so, 311 gets off the rock. Yeah, 311 leaves the rock. That's surprising. 311 is going to barrel roll. Mm -hmm. Take up space and control the space. Number one's probably, hopefully, doing a one bank. If he's doing a one bank, he can just go right towards the rock and then barrel roll around behind it. Man, you're really uh, excited about these Star Vipers. Oh, man, I love Star Vipers. <laughs> I love Star Vipers. I love the bell rolls. They're so much fun. See, yeah, this guy's going to be here. The one straight will just get right past it. And same thing if he does a two straight with um, 311 there. He's also going to be. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, the nope. Black Sun Assassin number one is the only other. Oh, no, is the more damaged ship on the table. So, yeah. Let's try to bring it down to half. <clears throat> I would not be surprised if the only thing left on the table at the end of this round for Perry is 32C. There's that one straight. Perfect. Just going into the little gap here. So you do a one straight, and then you do a barrel roll one way or the other. You can barrel roll to the uh, to the left and just have this one range one shot from behind. There's that fancy Star Viper barrel roll. Mm -hmm. Now, that's I mean, in this kind of matchup, those Star Vipers benefit <laughs> from being aces. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, being able to move after most of his list is great. Um, and, you know, with that barrel roll, he still maintains crack shot. And yeah, uh, two still have crack shot. Yep. Yeah, he does. Uh, number two, or sorry, um, 32C, DBS 32C is probably going to explode. Well, no, maybe not. He's still actually at full health. Um, there's the one bank. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. No, that was the one straight. Oh, that was the one straight. Now he could boost here. There's obviously no barrel rolling. Yeah, a bank boost might give him a chance to shoot 32C without landing him on the rock. It's hard to tell from this uh, particular vantage point, but... Um, and that is what Don is thinking about. Yeah. 
if he could do it, he'd probably be able to take 32C off the board, which would be a massive win for, for Don. Nope, he's just peeling out. How about he's that? He's got all the time. Yeah, he's just taking his time. Yeah. Seven minutes. Yeah, well, I mean, there's one, maybe two rounds left, depending on how quickly they play. So the Buzz Droids follow Star Viper number four. Uh, don't they attach to the rear? Uh, not if the front is clear. Oh, they always attach to the front. Oh, you choose. You, the inflicting player, choose. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Well, there it is. The barrel roll to get out. Um, and he's still got plenty of shots here. Uh, plenty of choices. Yeah, in fact, Barry really doesn't have the guns to do anything here. Yep. This is all well, over. Trade, trade drug shutting. number six is going to die, and 32C is going to eat a whole bunch of damage. I'd probably do that shot first against 32C. See if I get lucky, and if I get extremely lucky, maybe try to take him out with... Um, mm -hmm. I mean, he's got five health, so... I mean, it's possible. Sure. It's absolutely possible. Although he's got two available calculate tokens, one on 32C and one on trade drone number six. Yes. So 32C is taking a shot. Decides to spend it. So two hits coming on on Viper 4, who yep. is down one. And Viper 4 rolls two evades. <laughs> two evades. Perry's not happy about that. No. <clears throat> but this is what Star Vipers do until they roll all blanks, though, every once in a while. <laughs> all right. So four dice into 32C from Star Viper number two. That's Oof. not all paint. That is, that is an unfortunate roll. So just one hit. One evade. One evade. Don's using the crack shot. Okay, so four's choice is obvious here. You shoot trade drone number six. Take him off the board. Oh, although Don's thinking about it. He might, if he, it's worth, what, two extra points if he manages to get um, 32C down to half. Yeah, I'd kill the other guy. Yeah, I'd just take the guy off the board. Deny him a shot. That's one hit. Two hits. Yeah, unless he rolls. One evade results in one eyeball. At the very least, he's doomed. I can't see that. Yeah, that's go. double evade. Yep. Well, in spending the calculator, yeah. which means he now has a puny two-die attack through the rock. I have a three-agility ship. So huh. this is one of the problems with uh, the separatist drone lists, military lists. Um, once you get to the end game, mm -hmm. uh, if you haven't got ahead, you're in deep trouble. Yeah, they're pretty weak when they're down to um, down and to half. They right? can be PS killed one by one. Yep, yep. I mean, true with most swarm lists, Tie Fighters, things like that. Um, well, Tie Fighters do have three green dice. True, they're a little bit tankier, and they take focus tokens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they can tank a bit more. These drones do have a lot of firepower at first, at least, with all those energy shell charges and whatnot. Yeah. I mean, Perry did not get good dice here. So they've got time just for this one last round. Yeah. Well, maybe two if they mm -hmm. go quickly. But yes. it looks yeah. like they're having a conversation. <laughs> it's probably not going to be that quickly here. Last minute Talon rolls from the droids. Might get somewhere. I forget what the Talon roll is on the Hyena Bomber. I know it's different than on the Vulture. Can't remember what it is, though. <coughs> the, sorry. What are talon we rolls. Talon rolls on the Vultures. Let's take a no, look. No, on the Hyena Bomber. Oh, Hyenas. And Just loading up my app so we can see the dial. And Vulture 3 can't go anywhere. Can't get anywhere because... It's stressed. They've got two Talon Rolls and two Ks. Oh, okay. We've so got the all two K. Is the same. Formerly the um, purview of only the B-Wings, but now these bombers got it. Perry is going to barrel roll around his own. <laughs> no, he's going to. What's he doing? I think he's. I'm not sure. Going for a block. Yeah, he's going to block number four here. Yeah, assuming number four didn't do a one bank right. Which he's probably got a one likely. straight dialed in. 
Well, maybe he's got a hard two or something like that. So unfortunately, normally that would be a two bank that's blue for that particular vulture. Unfortunately, uh, he's got damaged engine. He's got damaged engine. So maybe we should tell him that. So that just makes it white. No, it looks like he's kept his ooh, kept his stress. Oh yeah, you're right. No, he he started with stress. So how did he bail roll? He shouldn't have. Correct. Forgot. So we're just going to undo that barrel roll and also the um, the focus he took, or calculate he took. He doesn't need to do too straight. Um, he's just... No, so the maneuver, which is yeah. usually blue, was made white. Yeah, it's just white, not red. So he's happy he's doing the do hard two, but uh, no stress for him. And the Vipers can just happily disengage here if they feel like it. Yeah, just peeling off over the rock. Uh, that's number two, who is happy to go over the rock because he's Lucky. got a shield. So, with these separatist lists, mm -hmm. I mean, it'll be interesting to watch this back and ask yourself, hey, was there any real opportunity for Perry to come back after the first two rounds of shooting? Whew, Did he really tough. have a chance? Really tough. I mean, he, he got his trick with uh, DB404 off mm -hmm. uh, with DB32C and 404 in combination. Um it just wasn't enough at that point. It's the higher PS um, Star Vipers. They're just... Uh, higher initiative. Yeah, higher initiative. Yes. Uh, I keep keep thinking pilot skill. Yes. <laughs> uh, the higher initiative Star Vipers, um, just being able to do whatever they want, basically, uh, and avoid those arcs when they need to. And I mean, both of, these, both of these guys have done very well today. Oh, so, don't get me I mean, wrong. Don has almost certainly been in a situation all day where he's been moving first mm -hmm. with all his ships. Yep. So somebody spent a calculate. Uh, number six, the trade drone, trade federation drone, was taking a four die shot from Star Viper number four. And spent and 32 C's. Correct. Calculate. And it looks like the shot's just coming back here. Mm -hmm. And this will be the end of it. Perry's so really just hoping to get half. Uh, which he's not going to do. Nope, not going to happen. He's not going to spend that calculate? Nope. Oh, he did spend a calculate there. Yep. Yeah. Evade result. And that's the end of the game. And that's uh, the end of the game. <laughs> looks like uh, Don K takes it for a 5-0 and o record for the mm -hmm. uh, course yeah, of the I Swiss. I think he'll be the only one. Yep. Yeah, there should be only um, one.